Now, what does politics mean to the youth of today? At a time when the Gen Z is busy calling themselves apolitical or not interested in politics, can elections change that sentiment? In Sri, Sri Lanka, it can. The same women and men who took to the streets in 2022 are going to vote this year. So politics is personal to them. The question is, are politicians listening? The 2022 protests in Sri Lanka were a turning point. It was the biggest economic crisis since the country's independence, the effects of which are felt even today. The protests started over basic issues, long power cuts, fuel shortage, high prices of food and scarcity of medicine. But it soon morphed into a country-wide movement that managed to unite people from different ethnicities, religions, generations for the very first time in Sri Lanka. The Rajapaksa brothers tried to brand it as organized extremists, but the vocal youth on the streets did not let it work. Then came the fateful day of 13th July 2022. Young men splashing around in a pool inside the presidential palace. Others jumping on the president's bed. Some Sri Lankans danced on the streets and played festive tunes. These scenes beamed across the world, marking the end of the 17-year rule of the Rajapaksas. And the flight of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa from the country. The protest was named Aragalia, the Sinhalese word for struggle. But has the struggle ended in Sri Lanka? The youth is staring at the question as this Saturday's election approaches. I'm voting because our people are helpless and I believe after elections there would be better governance in the country. All we want is to be happy. No, the people are not happy. The cost of goods is too high. Taxes are also unbearable. All we want is for the cost of living and taxes to be reduced, so we won't be struggling as much. Youth make up almost a quarter of Sri Lanka's population. This year, among the 17 million eligible voters, the youth has been represented well, with an estimated 1 million of them being first-time voters. Unemployment among the youth is the highest among all age groups. So if 2022 was about raising demands, 2024 is about who is listening to them. Many have found a leader in Marxist-leaning Anura Kumar de Sanayaka, but not everyone is convinced of change, not even those running for this election. One of the main, so-called main political parties are pledged or willing to continue the objective of the Aragale or accomplish the uh, objective of the Aragad. Uh, so they are af therefore even after the election whoever wins the so-called uh, mainstream political parties nothing will be changed in the society there will not be a, a system change it's very clear clearly a lot is at stake this Saturday especially for the youth the privileged few have left the country but those left behind expect accountability and action View report, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.